Hey, hey, YouTube world. Space Ghost here. Uh, before we get into the video on the 220 outlet, or 240 outlet, uh, I wanted to, to uh, talk about a couple of things. As you can see, this is a IP camera that I had I had running out in my shed. I don't have it anymore, but I went with a little different camera system, moved things around. I just don't have it set back up yet, but I will eventually. And this allows me to actually monitor my power meter and the temperature in my shed live anywhere. So, but one of the things I wanted to uh, to uh, show you guys, of course, this was uh, this was some time ago. I had one of my big rigs down here on the bottom, and then I had open frame stuff, and I was in the process of changing everything out. Was so, but hey, you notice when we get into the video, there's going to be a lot of dirt and, and a lot of dust in, in my mining room right now, and I do go in there and blow the dirt and dust out of the machines. And out of the rigs you know every couple of weeks or so but we've been in the process of trenching right outside my building and so my filtration system in the floors not as great as it should be i haven't had time to change out my filters i went with a different type filter to try out and when you guys see it in the video as you can tell in these pictures right here these are like a hepatite filter but they're really, really air restrictive compared to a lot of other filters. So I was trying a little different style. It was supposed to be some reusable, rewashable type filters, and they do not work for nothing. Uh, I'm, I've been really unhappy with them. You'll see it in the video. They're kind of a green color. And here, after I get the trench done, I figured I'd get everything done outside. And once the trench and everything is done, I will go in and I will thoroughly clean my room out dust wash scrub whatever i got to do to get everything back the way it should be so and this is oh probably been some time ago and like i said with the thermometer and stuff like that on it but you know that's that's the system though or that, that's my meter and that's the close-up of the meter but the meter works very very well and like I said, I'll discuss a little bit of how, how it actually works in the uh, uh, video. Uh, one thing is the hole. Uh, if you guys use uh, about an inch and a half, maybe a little over 39, 38 millimeter hole saw is what that is cut with. You might have to do a little bit of trimming to get things to fit because every manufacturer of uh, socket is a little bit different. So that's something to, to look out for. But... All right, now where was I? It's a problem having a having a wife and having people come in and bug you while you're trying to record a video. Wife comes in and interrupts me. So, anyways, I think I was talking about the hole saw. And if every manufacturer of the outlet is going to be a little bit different, so you might need a 38 millimeter, you might need a 40 millimeter, you might need an inch and a half. Uh, it just depends on the manufacturer for the actual size of this right here. I got it really close, and I used the Dremel tool to clean up the hole a little bit to get the outlet to fit in the socket. So, but right here's a hole saw. Um, I'll have this link in in the description if you guys want something like this. There's a bunch of different different type of things out there you can actually look at. Uh, I'm trying to think. Some of your step drills like this, I don't think they'll go big enough, but they might. And this is the box that I use. I've been really happy with this box. Uh, it's a six by six by four. And it's very well constructed. It has the mounting tabs on the corners right here. So you can actually go in and, and mount it to the wall. You don't have to try to like cut a hole in the wall or do anything like that. So, and of course, then it just gives you basic dimensions and stuff with the box, but it works very well. So, all right, well, let's, uh, get into the video and I hope you guys like the video and like and subscribe to my channel I hope to bring some more uh, some more content I'm I'm still working on some uh, ideas I will be out of town uh, this next week 
and I won't have any tech mining slash computer videos. It's going to be kind of a mix mash of of some drag racing and some road trip videos coming to you here in the next uh, five, six days or so. And I'll be back home next week on, fr actually next Friday. I go back to work tomorrow. So, all right, guys, I hope to see you in the next video. Space Goats out. Hey, everybody, Space Goats here. Hope everyone's doing good and having a good afternoon, good evening, or good night, depending on where you're at, or good morning. This is the second meter that I have. It is my 220 meter for my mining rigs. I currently have my rig shut down, so you guys can hear me. It's a bit dirty in my shed. There's the power meter, or my power. Uh, don't have it ran. I have conduit outside right now, waiting for the electrician to hook it up. But right now, I just have a temporary 220 line ran to power my my three mining rigs and yes that is dust all over the mining rigs i uh i've been a bad boy i don't like turning them off and and while they're running and working that's my big exhaust fan like i said if i turn that thing on for a second it will uh make all kinds of noise That's only about 30% of the airflow. But that big fan will run a lot of air. About 4,500 CFM. But the question was, is how do I have my 220 outlet wired with this particular meters? This is the same meter that I use on the 110. It'll do 220 or 240. But the difference is, it, is you don't have the neutral since you have two power legs two hots you have to let me get this cord in here so they don't have this cord attached so i got a little bit of play all right if i got just a second here let me get a pointing stick now right here is the little transformer that goes over the wire. I have it on one of the legs. I, I'm not a hundred percent sure. I don't think it really matters what leg it's on. It just has to be on one of the legs. So that way it'll get a reading of the power being used. Now, in the way this hooks up on the other side, over here on the blue side, it doesn't matter what which, which way the wires go. So, and over here, because it's on the 220, it's actually pulling a signal off of both legs of the 220. It's not pulling a, a, a hot and a neutral signal like it does off a of 110. And the meter itself knows that and it can adjust for it and it tells you, yeah, you have 220. It pulls a reading off of a single leg and I guess it does some stuff inside the box. I'm not sure exactly how the box works. And that's it. So. You have, you have your ground, you have a hot, and you have a hot. Or some people will call this the ground a neutral, but it basically, it's basically the same thing on, on, on 220. And that's all that outlet is. It's pretty simple to hook up. And like I said, if I do this carefully, pull my cord back inside, and this is a, that is a L6-30R receptacle. So it's a 30 amp, 240 volt locking receptacle. Let me put a, let me put a screw in the box real quick. Let's see if I can do this one handed. I don't know how all these YouTubers do all this stuff one handed because it kind of drives me nuts. If I put a screw in here, let me get one more. Yeah, you guys get a good shot of my hand there. Let 
All right, a couple of screws. That way the box don't, don't go nowhere. And what this plug looks like is this is the plug right here. This is your 30 amp L60, I'm sorry, L6-30 locking, locking uh, plug. And it goes into the receptacle. As soon as I plug it in, all the miners fire back up because the miners are set to restart on when the power comes back on if they get turned off. So, all right, guys. Well, this will be a quick one. Hopefully, you guys understand how I do the 220. If you've got any questions, comment, like, subscribe. You can catch me up on Discord. I'll see y'all in the next one.